do you think about, you know, hip hop in general? I love hip hop. I mean, my my sons. I have I have a 26 year old son. I have a 27 year old son. I have a 38 year old son. I have a 41 year old son. Okay. They're they're in different stages of hip hop because the 41 year old he was older when hip hop came through. Right. Okay. But my 26 year old and my 27 year old when they were like. 12, 13, 14, they were way into hip-hop. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and they both make hip-hop music now. And one of these days, I'm looking forward to hearing them on the radio because they do good They do good work. Good oh. work. Okay. I'm very proud of them. Okay. You know, the only thing I don't like about hip-hop mm. is the tendency to... Curse. ...castigate right. our women. Right. I mean, our women are precious. All women are precious, but these particular bitches and hoes that I'm hearing about, that's my mama, that's my sister, that's, that's my girlfriend, that's my wife, right. you know, right. that's, that's, that's my daughter, right. you know, I mean, I, I can't buy that. Right. I mean, I mean if, 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 how does a person feel about themselves if they're calling black women hoes and they're black men? Well, what does that make them? Right. You exactly. see what I'm saying? Exactly. I mean, that's that's a sad commentary for black people. We we are supposed to be more proud than that. Mm-hmm. We we are supposed to protect our women, not castigate them. That is our job. That we have to be real men. Real men take care of their women, and that's what we need to do. And that's what I implore all these young men out here to start thinking about. We. Have, we are special people, and we have to start acting like it. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's true. I mean, I'm no preacher. I'm just, I'm just a guy who believes in the right thing. You know what? You had, a, you had an interesting topic because uh, I remember, like during your, like your early albums, your early Atlantic albums, you were called the Left Rev McD. <laughs> <laughs> and here you was. <laughs> saying that you know preacher, but but I, I mean I get the gist of what you're saying though. Well, I mean, I've been told that I'm the equivalent of a preacher, okay. but the truth is is that I'm better one on one than I am with a crowd. You know.